Hello. I pray that you are well today. I pray God's grace to be upon you as we continue in our devotional series about the I am statements of the Gospel of John. Yesterday, we looked at John 6, I am the bread of life, that God sustains us and protects us and gives us sustenance spiritually. Today, we look at John chapter 8, another I am statement. Verse 2, excuse me, verse 12. And when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I am the one who is able to speak truth in the midst of this times of confusion and uncertainty. What is the darkness? Are you afraid of the dark? When are you afraid of the dark? What does the darkness indicate in the Bible? The darkness indicates lies. Do you believe lies? There are two lies we often believe about ourselves, and there are two lies we often believe about God. The first we believe about ourselves is that we're not very valuable. We're not really important. And the second is that we believe the lies of our own insecurities and they st stop us from living the life God would intend. And the two lies we believe about God, God's not really able to help me. And God's not really willing to help me. He's not strong and he's not loving. Those are lies. That's the lies of the darkness. Darkness also leads to fear. Fear. Have you ever been walking down the street in an area you didn't know? It's dark out, and you're looking around everything. You want to see because you want to know what the next threat is. You want to be clear on what's going to happen. Are you afraid? The darkness wants to give you fear. As opposed to the light, you can see. You see whether there's any real threat, in fact, at all. And in truth, not only is there fear, not only are there lies, together they make up a story right? When I was a kid, I was afraid of my closet. Why? Because when you turned out the light, there was no door in my closet, and I thought for sure someone was in there. And at various times, I got so afraid. And I would watch, and I got convinced. I would tell a story in my head, and I'd work myself up, and then I'd run out of my bedroom and find my parents, Mom, Dad. And they'd say, no one's in your closet. They would come and show me no one's in the closet, I would get back in bed, but then that little seed of darkness, because I couldn't really see very carefully, it was unclear with my eyes, go back and forth and back and forth, and then what ends up happening? They say, look, just sleep with the light on. <laughs> That's right. That's what I did. Just live with the light on. When we live with the light on, as opposed to the darkness, we're living in, in difficult and dark times. Where people on the inside are struggling and having difficulty. But God says, I am the light of the world. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. That's in John chapter 1 and verse 5. I say to you, please know and believe that God wants you to live life with eyes wide open. We as Christians don't have to pretend. Not everything is easy. Not everything is good. Not everything we see in this world is encouraging and building up. But you and I believe in the light of the world, and you and I, therefore, are those who can shine the light. Let your light so shine before other people that all may see and give glory to your Father in heaven. Jesus is the light. He sees your life clearly, and you can trust him and believe in him. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray for the collective darkness and the individual darkness that we bear, that we're in, and we want to see clearly our life and what you want our life to be. Bless us, Lord, that we not only can trust in the light of the world, who guides and directs us, who encourages us and builds us up, but also that we might be light for other people, pointing back to the one who is the light. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray 
God's grace to be upon you today. Believe the light. Be the light.